Hey, this is Randy from Nerd Out. Just uh, touching base and doing a little mini review of this uh, Star Wars Solo figure I picked up the other day. Uh, I know nothing about this because I haven't seen the movie yet um, at this point. Uh, this character's name is Moloch. Let's assume that's the pronunciation. Uh, the card uh, shows a picture of him. <laughs> I don't know what else to say on that. So the figure is one of the, uh, what are they called? The Force... Force, are they still calling them Force Link? Yeah, Force Link uh, figures, they're the five-point articulation. Um, I've, uh, I have I guess I have an opinion about these. Um, I actually think they're, they're not bad for what they are um, in the sense that, like, I'm sort of, I feel the nostalgia for five-point articulation. Uh, but, yeah, as far as play value goes, uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to try to defend uh, the lack of play value here. I mean, you're essentially getting a figure... You uh, open it up and you put the weapons in his hand, which he includes this this staff right here. And uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, he comes with this little this little blaster. What I like about this blaster is it's almost not quite, but it's almost that uh, I can't get a focus, but it's almost that bluish color that they used in vintage action figures. Now, whether that was intentional or not, um, I don't know, but I'm gonna guess it is. I I, I have to assume that for this Force Effect series that they're sort of playing on the nostalgia of our childhood. Um, yeah, again, he's just got a big old block, and then he's got uh, arm articulation and uh, wrist articulation, which I think is helpful, especially when you're, you're dealing with a staff. Uh, the best part about it is right here, I'll show you. This thing, this cool helmet, which I do want to say I think is very cool, it's like a breathing apparatus, does come off. And what you get, you can actually take it off completely. What you get is uh, a mystic from the Dark Crystal. Um, doesn't it look like a mystic from the Dark Crystal? Let me know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm uh, projecting, but uh, I think it does look like a mystic from Dark Crystal. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Actually, I think he's rather cool. I just see the resemblance. Um, so that's actually really cool, and the head does have an articulation, and I don't believe that this piece will pull out. Pull, pull out. Gotta pull out. Uh, so let me put the mask back on, just put it on like that, and then this will clip in. Alright, so let's talk about this. Um, I like these, I like these figures, but I don't like them $8 like them. Um, I think for $5.99, these would be perfectly acceptable. But for 8 bucks. Um, they're going to be on clearance for four bucks in three months anyway, at best. Now, maybe not Moloch. Moloch is interesting. He might be a short pack, but you know, you're going to get Han Solo. You're going to get, uh, some of the other core characters, um, and they're going to end up being clearance very quickly. Um, I, I don't expect Hasbro to make super highly intense articulated action figures for, for eight bucks. But for eight bucks, if Hasbro put in some like elbow joints, obviously this guy can't really have too much on the legs. Uh, but you know, at at a knee joint, I do like the side by side on the wrist. I think that's important. It adds a lot of uh, ability to give him some sort of dynamic pose. Or or like let's see, I guess he could hold his staff with two hands. Oh, that's huge. You know, uh, if I don't break it. Um, you know, I think these sculpts are actually pretty decent, uh, and paint doesn't doesn't bother me. Again, I I can get on board with the fact that these are action figures. I'm not necessarily looking for collectible three and three fourth inch action figures, um, but I do want something that has some play value, um, and uh, I think these display well. It's just uh, eight bucks is kind of pushing it. Um, I am stuck in the days when action figures were cheaper, and I, I am trying to come to grips with, with their price point. But uh, overall, I, I like this figure. Uh, I'd say go out and get it, but it's going to be on clearance in about a month. Um, whether the movie is going to do, whether I'm going to like the movie or not is a whole nother point of conversation. I am uh, cautiously optimistic. I ignore reviews uh, because I oftentimes have different opinions than others do on movies. With that said, um, my interest in a Han Solo movie from the moment it was announced was 
was was not high because I would rather them focus. Uh, I, I think Han Solo is one of the untouchables. I think Han Solo, uh, Princess Leia, and Luke Skywalker, I think, need to be left alone. Uh, I'm totally on board with Lando having his own movie. Like, I don't feel that he's untouchable, even though he's a great core character. But nevertheless, what's done is done, and uh, I'm going to go into it with a positive, positive... Uh, uh, optimism, and uh, with that said, I think uh, Moloch is a cool-looking Star Wars character. He fits right in in the universe, and uh, I like him. Uh, when you find him for five or six dollars, I highly recommend picking up, picking him up. Uh, and until next time, nerd out. Come on, tell me I'm not completely crazy here.